Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be adding desert camo to a rifle. From Krylon's camouflage line, I've chosen sand, khaki, light woodland green, and brown. I plan to go very light on the green. I don't want it to turn out too dark and woodland as it did last time. For supplies you'll need camouflage paint, dishwashing soap, brake clean or other degreaser, frog tape, cotton balls, shop rags, respiratory mask, safety goggles, gloves, and optionally a clear coat. We'll begin by disassembling the rifle, taking off the scope and then removing the barreled action from the stock. Next, wash the stock down with dishwashing soap to degrease it. Wear your gloves to keep any grease off the surface. After a thorough drying, you're going to take your frog tape and tape off any sensitive areas you don't want painted. Be sure to mask off the barrel channel and magazine well. Starting off with a base coat of the lightest color, hang your stock in a well-ventilated area. Shake well and spray in short, even strokes about a foot away. Let the first coat dry for at least an hour. Then inspect for any missed areas before adding a second coat. Set your stock aside to dry overnight. The next step is to degrease the barreled action, so grab your brake clean. In a very well ventilated area, hang it over a bucket to catch the runoff. Spray it down with brake clean liberally and then let it air dry. Grab your frog tape again and mask off any paint sensitive areas. This includes trigger components, sights, the ejection port, and the magwell. You can also use foam earplugs to keep paint out of the muzzle. Like the stock, add two light coats and let dry overnight. And now for the scope. Place cotton balls against each of the lenses and tape over them. Then trim around the edges. Spray on one or two light coats and let sit overnight. It's time to reassemble the rifle. Remove any tape along the mating surfaces like the barrel channel or trigger components. Leave anything else like the magwell or sights covered. Then begin reassembly. Even the base color of sand alone is a big improvement. It blends in much better than plain black and cuts down on surface heat from the sun. Let's start adding the other colors and break up the outline. Starting off with khaki, you can spray over leaves and other foliage to make patterns. I prefer to use a piece of netting from a laundry or produce bag. Work your way down the rifle alternating colors. Move from green and then to brown. And make sure you keep your netting or other foliage wrapped snugly against the rifle. After you're satisfied with your pattern, spray a light misting of sand color over the entire rifle. This will soften any sharp edges in the pattern, as well as blend the colors together. Finish up by spraying the entire rifle down with a clear coat. Don't forget the magazines. Time to strip off the remaining tape and see what we have. Compared with just the plain black stock, it's a vast improvement. And not too green in comparison with my first attempt. I was going for desert over forest. I'll need a matching sling now, but observe how well the camo blends with the arid environment versus just plain black. Time to waste some ammo, I mean field test, and let's see if the scope maintained at zero. Close enough. A final thought on the clear coating. While carrying the woodland green stock through the house, I wang the hell out of it on the corner of the wall. Hard enough to take some plaster with it. I expected to see a decent sized scratch or chip in the paint. After rubbing the plaster off with a wet paper towel, there was no scratch at all. A testament to the paint's durability. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to comment below.